plus in Salesforce. Formulas are similar to uh, their behavior in Excel in Salesforce. So they can be used to perform uh, calculations. We can perform operations on the custom fields to let's say concatenate two fields or to add two fields, multiply two fields, etc. And these calculations can be set for a new custom field. For example, we could have a, a full name custom field which is assigned last name, comma, first name. Formulas are also used in validation rules and workflow rules besides being used to set values of custom fields. Cross object formulas are uh, allow us to access field values of our parent uh, record. So for example, from an opportunity record or a, that is a donation record, we can access its parent account that is the customer uh, by this formula here by account dot name. So this will give us the name field of the parent account in an opportunity. The limitation of cross object workflows is that they do not allow us to access the child records. So from an account, we cannot access the donations through formula fields. If we have to perform such an operation, we have to use a developer. This will require an Apex programming. Just some examples of formulas. So uh, we have the today method that gives us the today date. There are quite a few date related methods available. There are also methods like not, which is which converts a true value to a false and vice versa. And then there are a few more date methods like year, which gives the year of a date, month, len operator gives the length of the string and an or not operators are logical operators so for example uh, just for if we take the case of and if it is it is applied on two uh, values and if both of the values are true then it returns a true value if we look at this last syntax here what it is saying is that if uh, the close date field close date custom field is set to null is then the value of this field should be set to today minus open date however if close date is not null then assign this the close date itself to the custom field so basically we check this operator check this uh, expression if this expression returns true, then this value is set to the variable. Otherwise, this value is set to the, the, to the custom field. This is an example of the if statement. And this can be more uh, made quite a little bit more complicated also. So uh, formulas, if you know even the basics of formulas, you can do pretty useful things. And uh, they also can be used to do as you become gain more expertise in formulas you can do very advanced things using them as usual let's move to a quick demo of how this works let's go to our salesforce instance okay this has the non-profit starter pack already installed and it is uh, open already uh, let's look at the account records we have uh, the Smith household record open. This, this link here is available for administrators. It's a quick access menu to access fields and other administrative tasks. So let's click on the fields and let's try to create a new formula field. So we go to the field sections here, custom field section here, and we click on the new button. And in the type, we will use formula. And then we'll click on the next button. Let's, uh, let's use a field name called account type. 
and the the name of the field the programming name of the field is just let's keep it as default as spaces are not allowed spaces replaced by underscore automatically by salesforce the type of the return type of the custom field can be set to checkbox currency date date time number percentage and text in this case let's set this to text so uh, what we are trying to do is that based upon the donations given by the household we want to give them a classification uh, they are a small customer large customer or strategic customer let's assume these are the three types let's move on now this is the place where uh, the the complexity lies or this is the most important part of creating a formula Salesforce has given us an example also of how this is used so in this case we are setting last name and the ampersand operator is used to concatenate the values so this here we are concatenating last name followed by comma and followed by first name comma is within quotes because this is not a field this is a fixed value we are trying to use when creating the field name so this uh, there are some help expressions available so if we click on this it opens the uh, some example documentations there are also links available over here they are pages to the help text of salesforce on the salesforce site okay so now we'll use the if operator we'll try to check the donation amount and if the donation amount is based upon the value of that we'll try to set up this field let's look at the formula i don't if you don't remember the syntax let's just copy paste it from the help so we have to compare uh, let's start with a low value so what we'll say is that if the donations are less than a thousand dollars so we need to replace we need to insert the field value of account so we can choose the field value here account okay let's let's go to the advanced formula tab because the feature we need is not available in the basic formula so the the text is still here and let's go to insert field so this is the account and we need to capture the donation amount field the total donation amount this is the lifetime donation amount uh, by this customer so let's use that i need to click on the insert button which i didn't do last time so now we have uh, this this is the syntax which is used to access the field of account the lifetime donation number field what now what we are saying is if this is less than 100 then then we want to say that this is just a small customer now if it is more than a thousand let's apply another if condition and let's use the same field if it is less than let's say 5000 then we call it let's let's say we call it large customer and if it is so if it is between 1000 and 5000 we are calling it a, a large customer and in the if it is more than 5000 then it becomes a strategic customer for us we have to have two parentheses one for this one and the other for this one so two closing parentheses we have put 
and now we'll go ahead and click on the check syntax button to check if we have inserted the formula properly or not so we forgot to put a quote here so which the formula editor nicely found out let's try it one more time so it says that uh, it did not find any syntax error this time so the important things to notice here is the insert field which we use to insert this particular field the operators is used to insert plus minus equal to these kind of operations comparison operations and these are the formulas these are the operations like the date or not or if or all kind of operators are available logarithm uh, max minimum etc so a very powerful set of functions are available which can be used based upon our business needs and we we would like to leave some help text so that it's easy to maintain we want to set the type of the customer based upon their lifetime donations let's try to move on now now this is the screen as usual for setting who has access to this particular field let's leave the defaults and in the last step of the wizard we have to choose what on which pages does the uh, the field shows up so we want to show it up in the household layout because this is applicable for the households this is not applicable for businesses because maybe we the, the non-profit just works with households to get their donations in this case so let's just click on save okay so now we when we go to the page layout of the the now we when we go to this page we can edit the layout and add this field to the appropriate position and then the value will be automatically calculated when we go to the page so this is the account type which we just created it's present in the top section automatically let's let's just leave it there okay so this this formula worked properly and it has automatically set the account type to to uh, an appropriate value